Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created a word count or an app using ChatGPT. Remember to subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So, this is a very simple tool that you can use on your website to count the number of words you have within the text area. So, if I start typing, let's see, I created this this application using chat gpt you can see it's going to count the number of words i have here remember it's words not the letters or the characters so it's going to count them so this is a simple application that i created using chat gpt and you can even create more complex app using the same method so i'm going to walk you through how to do this with just some simple strategy okay before you do that you need to make sure you have your test editor or your code editor i'm using visual code editor and i need to know the files you are going to use how to organize those files chat gpt is going to generate the code for you all you have to do is to organize them and then start running the code so now let's jump into action and see how to do this now before you use chat gpt you first need to come to this website i have some videos already on chat gpt so you have to come to openai.com and then click on introducing chat gpt release research release so you click on this and you need to sign up and it's going to take you to this page now what we're going to do is i want to write a code that we can generate something like this or something like this or even similar you can rewrite the code to get something similar or even more professional you can add a chat board to improve on it so let's start and see how to create something like this now before we do this i'll create a simple file i'm going to create a simple file on my desktop let me call it so i'm going to call this for account okay and we're going to Create all our sub files within this. So before that, let's start and see what ChatGPT is going to give us. I'm going to start a new chart, and then we want to add ChatGPT to create a full code that allows us to count the number of words we have within the text area. So, so I'm just going to type this right here. Okay, write a full code that counts the number of words in a text area so you want to be specific so we are using html so let's say using using html css and then what javascript that js so let's just do this and then chat gpt is going to generate the code for us if you are not satisfied with the interface we can go ahead and then improve on that so let's see how chat gpt is going to do this you could organize everything within the same html file or to write them separately so let's see what we're going to get first. So the first code you can see is giving us everything over here. So we we'll wait for this code to be written for us and then we can modify this in case we want to improve on that. So ChatGPT is going to go ahead and then improve on this code for me. And I'll show you how we can move this to the code editor and then improve on that. So it's still going to write that and it's going to display the JavaScript. So in this case, it's going to organize everything. So remember, you can embed JavaScript and then css into the same folder okay you can easily do that so it's going to write this for us let's wait for this to finish and then we can just copy this code and then move it to our text editor like subscribe for more techniques we'll be creating more application i'll show you they shouldn't make you lazy but it's going to actually guide you so ai is just to support you it's not going to take your jobs just to support you and make even your life very easy so now let's see the code is done it just giving an explanation to the code so let's go ahead and then just copy this so copy code and we'll come to our code editor now we are not using this we are opening a new folder so i can go to file and then go pin, go to i can go to file and go to open folder and remember we created a folder on desktop called count so let's click on that and then open this folder we currently don't have any file within this folder so we're going to create a file and then we paste everything within that particular file in the folder which is this so we just need the one file for now so let's go ahead and click and we'll create our file so i'm going to call this index.html so we've created this i'm doing this because i'm creating one file because chat gpt actually created everything within the same folder it has embedded the css and then the js file everything within this so we've copied this already all we have to do is to go paste this right here everything is here we have to just go ahead and save this now when we are done saving this we can just go ahead and open this within our browser remember we have it within the accounts and then i just have to open this 
you see how amazing this is looking so it's even looking more professional than what i displayed to you so chat gpt has actually created this for us so let's see how many words do i have here so this is a question so in this case we just have to click on count words and you can see the result will show up over here so this is another way which is quite different from what i showed you and it basically it's achieving the same purpose if you want to improve on the interface of this you can equally add chat gpt can you change the code to make the interface more attractive so you can easily add that over here so let's say change the code to make the interface more attractive okay so we can add chat gpt to do that change the code to make the interface more attractive and let's see it's going to rewrite this code for us and let's see how up how this is going to look like so we just want to rewrite this code and see if we could get something more professional we just have to allow this ai some few minutes to rewrite this code and let's see if the interface is going to be the same or different from what we have here so this is what we created so you can see within just a twinkle of an eye we've been able to generate a working application so if you are building a system online or just a professional website I want to include some tools you can easily use this ai to create different components of this tool okay so we're doing a lot subscribe for more of that so let's look at the update on that chat gpt is still working creating the code for us so we're just going to copy this to replace the old code and just compare the interface of the two and see the difference between that because we've just asked chat gpt to improve on the interface for us so it's actually doing that for us and we just have to give ourselves some time and see how this is going to look so this is a javascript part it's going to generate the javascript part of this code for us and then we can copy this code to our text editor and then we can run this so ai is not taking your job it's just probably going to make your job very easy so just embrace it and it's going to support you to write even faster code but you also need to understand the code you are using because if you want to improve on coding then you should allow ai you shouldn't allow ai to do everything for you yes also play your role so i think we are done with this we are going to copy this new code the improved version because we are we asked ai to improve on this and we are actually going to replace this with this code so paste this here i'll save this go back to my page and let's reload this look at how amazing this one is looking so this is a new interface we had for our own design so this is a new look of our design which is actually going to give us the same result so how many words do i have i have here so this is the same thing we can just click on count look at this word count is seven if we go ahead and update this okay add new anything new and then we update it count you can see it's going to update that for us so this is quite very interesting and you can do just a lot with chat gpt you can do basically anything and it's going to make your coding life even more easier subscribe and turn on post notification for more video tutorials on how to use chat gpt to create a full working app and how to improve on your coding till i come your way again like subscribe for more bye bye